Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to convert a system of unit into another. So this, uh, this is based on the fact that the magnitude of a physical quantity remains same whatever system of unit is used for measurement. So we know that magnitude of a physical quantity is equals to product of numerical value times unit. That is Q is equals to N times U and it is constant. So NU is constant. So if NU is constant, then we can write N1 U1 is equals to N2 U2. Okay. Now let us consider that you have a physical quantity whose dimensional formula depends on MLT that is mass, length and time up to some powers. Say A, B and C. So M to the power A, L to the power B, T to the power C. Suppose this is the uh, dimensional formula for a physical quantity. Now we know that n times u is constant or n1 u1 is equals to n2 u2 then we can write n2 is equals to n1 times u1 by u2 or u1 is the uh, in u1 is one unit and u2 is another unit and n1 is the numerical value in the u1 system of unit and n2 is the numerical value in u2 system of unit okay so therefore we can write n2 is equals to n1 times m1 by m2 to the power a l1 by l2 to the power b t1 by t2 to the power c that is m1 is the uh, quantity or the mass in the u1 system and m2 is the in the u2 system okay and so for l1 and t1 l2 and t2 so th this is what we can write. So n1 is the numerical value in system 1, m1 is the unit of mass in system 1, l1 is the length in system 1 and t1 is the time in system 1. And same for n2, uh, m2 and l2 and t2. Uh, those are the values for system 2. Okay. Now let's uh, convert Newton into time. So this is our first conversion. Okay. And for this, we are going to use the dimensional formula for the force as we know that Newton is the unit in unit of force in SI unit and dyne in CGS unit. So we know that the dimensional formula for the force is ml t to the power minus 2. Okay. So we, we can write that 1 Newton is must be equal to 1 kg times 1 meter 1 second to the power minus 2 that is as you can see that m l t to the power minus 2 this is the dimensional formula so m is the mass in the m case or okay say let's uh, consider m case unit so m is the mass in m case unit so whose units is kg so i wrote 1 kg l is the length so i wrote 1 meter and second is uh, same for in all system of units that is m case si or cgs or fps so t is one second to the power minus two similarly we can write one dyne is equals to one gram one centimeter one second to the power minus two so m is one gram l is one centimeter and t is one second now if you divide newton one newton by one dyne then you can write you can write the corresponding quantities uh, with the division sign that is one kg 1 by 1 gram, 1 meter by 1 centimeter and 1 second by 1 second to the power minus 2. Now second will cancel. That is uh, you are dividing two same quantities then it must be dimensionless. Okay. That's why uh, we can cancel these two seconds. 1 second by 1 second. This is a dimensionless quantity. Actually you can't cancel. Actually it is a dimensional dimensionless quantity. It will give you just a number or 1. Now we need to write uh, say you can write kg uh, you can convert kg into grams or you can convert gram into kg uh, both will uh, going to give you the same result okay so let's write 1 kg as 1000 gram by 1 gram and 1 meter is 100 centimeter by 1 centimeter okay now again we are dividing same quantities that is gram over gram and centimeter over centimeter then this will be a uh, dimension less quantity so we can write only numerical values so 1000 means 10 to the power 3 and 100 means 10 square which is equals to 10 to the power 5 therefore we can write 1 newton 
is equals to 10 to the power 5 dyne. So this is the conversion of one system of unit that is MK system to uh, MKs to CGS. Okay. So this is for force. Now let's see another example. So let's convert one joule into one arc. Okay. So as we know, joule is the MK or SI unit uh, in of the energy and arg is for also for energy in CGS system of unit. So the di dimensional formula uh, for energy is m l square t to the power minus two. You can derive it easily uh, from the relation say half m v square or m g h. So now we can write one joule is equals to one kg times one meter square one second to the power minus two. So, so I am just writing the corresponding quantities for m l t in m k s. Okay, so mass uh, that is kg. L is meter and T is second. So one arc is equals to that is in CGS one gram L L is one centimeter and T is one second. So now if you divide these two things one joule over one arc, and if you write corresponding quantities, uh, then one kg over one gram one meter over one second whole square, and one second over one second to the power minus two. Again, uh, we are dividing same quantities then this uh, division will give you a dimensionless quantity and we are going to convert these quantities into another so one kg we can write one kg is as thousand gram over one gram and one meter is equals to you know that hundred centimeter by one centimeter whole square so this this will also be dimensionless quantity okay so thousand means 10 to the power 3 and 100 square so means uh, 10 square whole square okay 100 means 10 square and we have a whole square so it is so it is equals to 10 q times 10 to the power 4 which is equals to 10 to the power 7 therefore we can write 1 joule is equals to 1 arc sorry 1 joule is equals to 10 to the power 7 arc so now let's convert 1 pascal into cgs pressure that is uh, mks unit of pressure to cgs unit of pressure okay so so we are going to use the dimensional formula for pressure and which is we know that m l inverse t to the power minus 2 that pressure is force or force per unit area and this will give you this dimensional formula m l inverse t to the power minus 2 therefore as 1 pascal is the unit in mk's unit of press pressure then uh, it is equivalent to 1 kg 1 meter to the power minus 1 and 1 second to the power minus 2 that is m 1 kg l 1 meter and t is 1 second and so 1 cgs pressure will be equals to 1 gram 1 centimeter inverse 1 second to the power minus 2 so if you divide 1 pascal by 1 cgs pressure then uh, you will get it is equals to 1 kg over 1 gram 1 meter over 1 centimeter to the power minus 1 and 1 second over 1 second to the power minus 2 now we are going to convert 1 kg to uh, grams kg to grams so 1 kg is 1000 grams and over 1 gram and 1 meter is 100 centimeter by 1 centimeter to the power minus 1 so it is equals to now uh, each quantity will be a uh, dimensionless quantity so 1000 times 100 to the power minus 1 that is 1 over 100 so actually we are dividing 1000 by 100 and which is equals to 10 so, 1 Pascal will be equals to 10 CGS pressure. So, now let's solve a problem uh, based on this, uh, based on these things. So, the problem is the value of gravitational constant G in MK system is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square kg to the power minus 2 then what will be the what will be its value in cgs system there are four options and we have to choose the correct one so it is given that g is equals to 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square kg to the power minus 2 so 6.67 is the numerical value and this is the unit that is the mk system of unit okay so we need to find the numerical value in CGS system of unit as we are going to convert this MK system into a CGS system okay now we know that uh, n u n numerical value times the system of unit is equals to constant 
therefore we can write in CGS and unit in CGS must be equals to n mks u mks that is n is the numerical value in CGS and n is the numerical value in mk system mks unit system therefore n CGS must be equals to n mks times u mks by u CGS okay so uh, now we are going to divide uh, these two quantities those two system of unit that is actually we, uh, we need to evaluate this u mks over u cgs so u mks newton meter square kg to the power minus 2 and u cgs is dyne centimeter square gram to the power minus 2 so it is equals to newton over dyne that is we are writing the same quantities uh, all together so we know that newton is 10 to the power 5 dyne we already derived uh, earlier so and meter is equals to 100 centimeter and kg is equals to 1000 gram okay so this will going to give you uh, dimensionless quantities so as we are dividing same quantities so we have 10 to the power 5 10 to the, 10 square whole square and 10 cube whole to the power minus 2 okay so it is 10 to the power 5 times 10 to the power 4 times 10 to the power minus 6 so the final result is 10 to the power 3 so this is the factor that we need to multiply with the uh, mm, sorry to get the uh, CGS numerical value to the numerical value in CGS system okay so G must be equals to 6.67 10 to the power minus 11 times 10 to the power 3 into uh, dyne centimeter square gram to the power minus 2 and it is equals to 6.67 10 to the power minus 8 dyne centimeter square gram to the power minus 2 again we can write dyne is equals to uh, gram centimeter second to the power minus 2 therefore dyne centimeter square gram to the power minus 2 will be equals to centimeter cube gram inverse second to the power minus 2 uh, simply we are multiplying the same quantities so we are writing the same quantities uh, uh, with some powers so in this uh, in this more simplified unit or more uh, in terms of more fundamental units the g is equals to 6.67 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter cube gram inverse second to the power minus 2 so if you uh, look at the op uh, options then so a and b are both correct options so the correct options are a and b so that's it for this video see you in the next video